Hello plant people, it is Nora the Lekker Queen. Today I'm showing you something absolutely special. I have here with me my Begonia White Ice. Look at this plant. Have you ever seen anything so magnificent? Look at that angel wing shaped leaf with all the white little dots. It is just to die for. It is just absolutely amazing. It looks splendid. I've been wanting one of these plants for such a long time. I saw one on Instagram and I instantly fell in love. I finally found one on eBay and I picked it up uh, two days ago and I am just loving, loving, loving it. It's, it's just gorgeous. She is just beautiful. And of course she is still living in soil. So I'm going to need to do something about that as you know, but I just wanted to show it to you before I start mucking around with it. She's just glorious. So what are we going to do today? Today we are going to take this plant out of the soil and get it prepared for its Lekka transition. So I am going to be using the long method to take care of this plant. I'm not leaving anything to chance. I am going to use the long method before I put it into Lekka. And if you don't know what I mean when I say the long method, click on the link above. That'll take you straight to my video where I explain the long method of transferring plants from soil to Lekka. So instead of just getting a plant and immediately putting it into Lekka, you put it into a rooting solution. And in my case, I use Growth Technology Clonex Clone Solution and Root Zone together. And this is what I call my special source. And I put the plant in the solution. And what that does is allow the plant to acclimate to a hydro environment and it also allows it to actually gain some water roots in the process and then after a few weeks I then transfer it to Lekka. So for this plant the other thing I will be doing is actually propagating. I will be chopping it up and getting some cuttings because when I eventually pot this up into Lekka I want to have at least two or three plants in that pot and what the chopping will do actually as well is it'll actually encourage it to branch as well. So by the time I'm done doing all those things and getting the plant into Lekka and by the time it's done you know it starts to grow and really takes off it's going to be lovely and bushy and the next time you see this plant is just going to be spectacular. So we are going to do that. So before we get into taking the soil out we will get into the propagations. So begonias are very very easy to propagate. You can actually propagate a begonia through the leaf. You can also propagate it by the stem. So I'm going to use the stem method and in order to do that I need a knife. So I've sterilized this knife and I'm going to chop up this plant and I'm going to put it in my special source solution that I mixed up earlier. But what I'm also going to do today because I'm propagating I am going to be using Clonex. So Clonex is another growth technology product and what Clonex does is it helps with it helps cuttings root. That's just basically what it is. It's a cloning agent so it's absolutely fantastic. It does everything that it says on the tin and it I mean you could just put your you're cutting in water, that will work as well. But there's so many things that we could do that are not optimized that still work eventually. But I like to use my Clonex because it's been specially manufactured to help a cutting root in a short period of time. So I am going to use this with my begonia and I'll show you how I do that. So let's get chopping. So I've got my plant and I'll just take off that bamboo stick and oh so I could act, what I do want to do is actually get two cuttings from this so I could make a chop I could make a chop here I think I'll make a chop here and I'll make another one here so I'll have to sacrifice this leaf and I'll have to sacrifice another leaf so let's get chopping so that's my blade and on the diagonal 
that's my chop. And I'm using a blade, not a pair of scissors, because if you're using scissors, you're squeezing the stem from both sides. And instead of just having a nice clean slice, you're actually squishing the plant, which is not ideal. So I want to make another cutting. So if I make, oh, there'll be, if I make a cutting here, I'll sacrifice this leaf. I'll make one there. Okay, so that's my plant there. That's what's left. Okay, so this is my cutting here. I'm gonna to have to sacrifice this leaf, which is fine because it's a bit wonky. So I'll just take that off and that's what I'll have as my cutting. And then this is my other cutting. I'll have to sacrifice this one. What I could try to do with these leaves actually is I could try and make propagations with the leaves. I'll try that. So what I'll do now is I'll get my clonix. So this is my clonix over here. What you don't want to do is get your cutting and dip it into the clonix because that might introduce um, bacteria and contaminate your whole bottle. So you're decanting your clonix and you are covering your cutting with the clonix. So one of the things the clonix does as well is it actually protects your cutting. So once you've cut the stem, you're actually, it's like you're opening up a wound, right? So it actually acts as a kind of band-aid to put it in a very simplistic manner. And that will also get the rooting going. So I put my, my cutting over there that's covered in clonix. I get my other cutting and I'm covering that with clonix. I have been known to use a paintbrush to do this as well. So you can use a paintbrush and then you've got your, you don't have any waste and you're really directing that where it needs to be. So that there is my cutting with the clonix on. That's my other cutting with the clonix on. So I'll just let that sit for a while. And while that's sort of airing out and drying out a bit, I will start addressing my, cut, my plant that's in the soil. I've got my plant, squeezed it and got that out of the pot. And begonias do have rather delicate roots. So I'll try and get the soil off, as much soil off as I can. And that's how much I've been able to take out. I will now take this plant outside and wash off as much of this organic matter as I can. I'll see you in a bit. So I'm back from outside and I've got my plant here. And as you can see, they're pretty small, thin roots. All the organic matter is now off. And I am now going to put this in a jar ready for the long method. So I've got my jar here and I will put my plant in there. I will put in this jar my special source of root zone and clonix clone solution. I mixed up a batch earlier. So that is my begonia there living in my special source. I will put into this jar the ones that I covered in Clonix. So I'm using Clonix and Clonix clone solution. So I'll put that in there, have that sit in there and I'll put the other one in there as well. And I will put this jar on my heat mat. I'll put it on a bright spot and within a few weeks, this plant will be ready to be potted up in Lekka. So that's that's my begonia ice and I'm really really hoping that that works it should and oops I'm really hoping that that works and when it's all done I will show her to you again. It's been three weeks since I put this begonia white ice in to propagate and to do the lekker long method and I think she is ready to go. She is still looking 
fabulous. Look at those white dots that look literally like white ice. So it's called white ice because it looks like dots of ice and you can see those dots continue at the edges of the leaf as well. It is just a fabulous cultivar. It's a cane begonia and this begonia actually um, was created by a lovely gentleman called Charles McGuff in 1998. So she's still a very, very young plant, but she's oh so beautiful and makes such a lovely, lovely wintry plant. And we are officially in winter here in Australia. So this is a well-timed video. So I'll show you what has been happening with my plant so far. So I'll start with the cuttings. So this is the tip, right? And the tip actually took the longest to root, but we do have roots. You can see those roots there. It's rooted really, really well. And I'm very, very happy with that. Those leaves have continued to look beautiful. And yeah, that's my tip cutting. She's going very well. And this was the middle cutting. So you can see that bit there is where I chopped the tip off. And at the bottom there is where you've got the bottom bit. And that as well has rooted rather, rather nicely. There we go. That looks absolutely brilliant. And you've actually got a new leaf. This is a new leaf that has actually um, developed since I chopped it up. So I think it's going really, really well. Now, what's happening with the base? This is the base of the plant. As you can see, much bigger leaves, more mature. And this right here is a new leaf. That is a new leaf. And that's another new leaf. It just it's got new growth points and this is another little leaf there. That's a new growth point. That's a new growth point. That's a new growth point. I am loving what this plant is doing. It's going to look really bushy and really fabulous. Now, these are the roots. Okay, so that's looking really, really good. We don't have a lot of loss with this plant and it's looking really, really nice. So I'm actually going to pot this plant up into like a now because I think I've taken this project as far as it can go. I'm becoming a little bit impatient and I just want to move on to the next thing. And I know begonias are really, really good at rooting and they will take off nicely in the lecker. So I've already got some roots going, so that'll be absolutely fantastic. So I am going to pot up this plant in a 14 centimeter pot. So this is one of my pots that I make. Um, it's just a normal grower's pot. If you haven't seen me do this, just click on the link above and that'll take you straight to how I actually make a pot like this. I'm gonna put it up in that and I am going to give it some lovely, lovely lecker. So this lecker has been washed and it's been soaking in Clonix clone solution, so it's going to be ready to continue the root growth with that plant. So I'm going to do something a little bit different with my potting up today. I've got a trellis, and I know I know that my begonia is going to need a lot of support in the long run. So I'm putting this trellis up just to make things easier, and I'm going to show you how I'm actually going to attach my trellis to my grower's pot. So that's going to be rather interesting. But yeah, I mean, if you're liking this video so far, please click the like button because it enables this video to be shown to other people and it really helps my channel. So let's get back to that begonia. I will now bring you down so you can see how I pot that up. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach my trellis to my grower's pot. So when I was actually making this pot ready and putting the holes in it, I made sure that I had these holes 
right next to each other and these holes. So I've got four holes that correspond to where I am going to put my trellis and I will use some cable ties to attach the trellis to the pot. You don't have to do this, but I chose to do this because sometimes that you do get a fair bit of movement when you put a trellis up in a plant with um, when you're putting up a plant in Lekka. So I just want, I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to do that and see how it goes. This is actually the first time I've done this kind of thing before. So this will be rather interesting. So that one's attached there and I'll put in the next one. So that one and note that I'm actually putting the heads of the cable tie outside. So you will notice that I've put the heads of the cable ties on the outside of the pot and not the inside. And the reason I've done that is at a later date, if, you, if I decide that I actually want to remove the trellis for any reason, it's easy for me to actually clip off the cable ties from the outside and have that come out easily as opposed to if it was on the inside and it just makes things a little bit more fiddly. So that right there is my pot that's ready to receive my plant. So the next stage is I'll just grab my plate. I'll put my pot here and of course I'll put a third, I'll fill this pot up a third of the way with lecker. So that's about right. That's just where I need that. I will now grab my plant and pot it up. So I'll try and arrange that in a way that the plants will be deriving support from the trellis if they need it. So I'm putting them pretty close to the trellis. That way over there. So I'll grab the next one. Put that there. Grab the other one. Put that there. And all I need to do now is fill this pot up with the lecker. So that is my plant that is now potted up next to a trellis and is going to do really, really well in its pot. Look at how gorgeous that plant looks. It's absolutely fabulous. Those leaves are just to die for. So what I'll do now is I'll actually pot this plant up. I'll put it in a reservoir. This is the reservoir that I've got for this plant and I will put a Clonix clone solution in this reservoir. So just making sure that the level that I'm going to put is going to be less than a third. Although it, you know, for plants that have really been living in this CCS solution, it's not so much of a problem, but that's just about there. It's a bit difficult to show that because it's black as well. But anyway, you get the idea. And when I put my plant in that solution, it's not going to be touching my roots. So the lecker is going to be wicking up the nutrient solution to where the roots are and the roots will keep growing. So that's my plant living in its reservoir, very happy. That is my begonia white ice looking stunning. She's looking so good and she is going to do really, really well. So I will now put her in a bright, warm spot and she will grow. And I'm telling you, you will not know this plant when I show it to you come spring. It's just going to be gorgeous. So look at those white dots. It's, oh, I had to have it. The minute I saw it on Instagram, I knew I had to have it. I searched for it for a long time and it's finally here. So, well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.